talk about Master Roshi because he's kind of a dirty old man. What? <laughs> a little bit. The hell are you saying? <laughs> How'd you come up with uh, the idea for uh, making the character, uh, uh, creating the voice for the character? Uh, creating vo voice for the character, um, most of the a uh, animation auditions I've dealt with, uh, they've given me two or three pictures of what the character looks like and a little one to two paragraph description of what they're like. And this is Master Roshi. He is a martial arts master. He's also kind of a, a pervert. Uh, those things play back and forth. And so, you know, like there's this little description of him. And then there's about six to ten lines of dialogue with a little context stuff to the side, like this is as he's training someone. This is as he's checking out Bulma, who he thinks is attractive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, all of that combination of uh, picture and information and what he has to say, uh, I just came up with the voice. Um, I think if I were to dig through the, 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 the maze of my mind, it would be like uh, probably a mix of like, say, a stereotypical like Saturday Night Live old prospector voice. Um, the Cadbury cream egg, once he's just gone, they're gone guy. Uh, the Pepperidge Farm and then this guy without the Northeastern accent. A um, uh, bunch of other like older character voices that I heard before and I just made it into this thing. What was the, the original, uh, or what was the initial reaction to that um, once Dragon Ball Z became a really big thing? Uh, the reaction to like the voice or the character? Yeah, or? the character. Um, I don't know. I'm like, I, I, I guess it's the same as it is now. It's just uh, it wasn't as uh, as old, you know. Because I guess this Dragon Ball's been around 20 plus years now, mm -hmm. and I've been doing the the Roshi voice for this is my 20th year of doing that. So thank you. Thanks for that. I'm almost as old as him now. Um, uh, so yeah, it's it's neat to see Dragon Ball fandom grow and grow, and then we have things like Super and games like Xenoverse and whatever else that keeps the fandom alive, and it's really neat.